the Indian Armed Forces are entrusted to secure and protect our country's vast land, maritime and airspace borders. This crucial responsibility to protect our nation presents multiple challenges in the face of constantly changing regional and global geopolitical dynamics. The nature of warfare is also undergoing a major change. This includes constant military preparation for low-intensity conflicts as well as major wars coupled with the challenges of advanced weapon systems like missiles, weaponized drones, cyber warfare and more lethal weapons. While constantly reviewing its operational preparedness to meet the perceived security challenges, India is revamping its defence strategy by integrating its armed forces, upgrading weapons, strengthening military alliances coupled with policy revisions in defence production and in the process further supporting the larger ambition of becoming a net exporter of weapon systems. To give a boost to the fast-growing Indian defence industry ecosystem and to help the industry to contribute towards Atma Nirbhar Bharat, the Government of India has earmarked 68% of the military's capital acquisition budget. For the year 2022-23, around 84,000 crores for purchasing locally produced weapons and systems, besides setting aside 25% of the Defence Research and Development or R&D budget for the private industry industry, startups and academia. And in many ways, the torchbearer for this national mission is the Defence Research Development Organisation or DRDO, which is on the forefront of leveraging cutting-edge technologies to progressively enhance India's combat effectiveness through development of state-of-the-art weapon systems and technologies. And this has enabled our armed forces to achieve its place amongst the elite defence forces of the world. The vision of Honorable Prime Minister to make the country completely self-reliant, make everything is manufactured in the country and export it. So there have been a number of steps which have been taken to bring in the private sector into defence in a big way. This is the major step which the government has taken and to ensure that to meet the expanding requirements of the nation and also for the exports, you have to bring in lots of industries to come into picture and that is how number of industries are coming. Lots of facilities have been provided, the licensing uh, has been made very simple, the 68% of the capital uh, in the budget uh, for the defence capital procurement has been given for the defence uh, domestic market, domestic industries and uh, private industries. In the last episode of this special series, we looked at DRDO's role in indigenous missile development capabilities. We will continue our journey in this episode, taking a deeper look at the development of the indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas, the Indian Army's main battle tank Arjun and its new version, and electronic warfare systems to be deployed in naval ships. This and much more in this episode of Science for a Self-Reliant India, only on India Science.